hello welcome back to this channel and it's actually been a while that i've not published any video who missed me because i really miss myself is because i've been gone and i've been working on a project but i am back now so in today's video we're going to be going over how to use github directly from your visual studio 2019 so except you have not heard there is now a new version of visual studio which is the visual studio 2019 and for me i think it comes with a lot of great features right a lot a lot of awesome features if you're yet to update to the 2019 version i think this is just the right time to do so so visual studio 2019 comes with a lot of features for me i think the feature that stands out the most is the ability to now publish your code from visual studio directly to your github account and also you can check out your code for from any platform you can check out your code from github from azure from gitlab and any of the online repositories so the first feature i want to show off is the ability to clone a repository or check out your code so this is visual studio 2019 and this is the launch screen obviously it looks more sleek so we're going to look at how to clone a repository so how to do that is very simple we just easily go ahead and click on this button and before then you should have been able to copy your repository location so i'm going to open google chrome so this is you finish tutorials and these are the public repositories that we have so I'm going to go ahead and try to check out one of these projects. I think um, Xamarin Firebase would be a good option. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and copy um, the URL, which is the location of the repository. After that, we're going to return back to Visual Studio. Okay, now the next thing we need to do is to select the local part where you want um, the code to be downloaded and saved to. What you want to do here is to click on this button and you can browse to your own location. So I'm going to go to my documents and I'm going to create a new folder. So this is where I want my project to be saved. All right, so I'm going to call this folder Xamarin Firebase. All right, so I'm going to select this folder. Now the next thing we need to do is to go ahead and click on clone. Visual Studio will handle the downloading and you will just be set up to start making use of the project it depends on what you want to do maybe you you want to improve on the project or you want to just have the project files so that you can you know use it to do some practice and all of that so the project has been fully downloaded so i'm going to go ahead and load the solution file okay so the solution is loading okay so the solution is completely loaded so we now have the project that we just cloned so these are so this is the entire project files by the left so as you can see this is very useful so most of the time our tutorials are going to be published to github you can easily just clone the repository that directly to your visual studio and you'll be up and running in few minutes if we want to run this code we can just go ahead and build it So build is complete. Now I'm going to go ahead and run this on an emulator. Okay, so uh, our app is deploying. So we have our app. So guys, you can see how quick this is. We just easily clone the repository, clone the project, and you can see that project running here, which is very useful and very helpful. Now the next thing we want to do, which is actually the main reason why this video is being recorded, is how to publish a fresh project to... A github account or a github repository right so what i'm going to do will be to go ahead and close this project so i'm going to close this solution so i'm going to go ahead and create a fresh one all right so i'm going to create a fresh project so i'm going to call this github tests it's going to be um an android app it's going to be an android app so i'm going to go ahead and create a new project so i'm going to call this github github project okay so you can just go ahead and call yours anything that you want to call it so i'm going to go ahead and click on create so this is going to be a blank app so it doesn't matter what project that you're working at it can be an android project it could be um, a wpf project it could be a web project provided it's in visual studio you'll be able to do this okay so our project is fully loaded 
so this is a brand new Android project no filter I've not changed anything at all so I'm gonna go ahead and let the layout so that we can see how it looks it's still bare so I'm gonna assume that you have a project that maybe you have really worked on to a significant level now the next thing you want to do will be to publish it to um, a repository where you'll be very sure that your code will be safe and you can easily share it with your friends and also if you're looking for a job your employee your employer might actually want to check out your github account and see what nice thing that you've been doing so far all right now the first step in publishing your code to github is to ensure that you successfully installed the github extension so how to do this is to go to the extension menu so we're going to click on manage extensions right so you can see that we have several tabs here online installed and updates okay so when you go to online you're going to see github extension for visual studio so it appears that i've already installed github extension for visual studio but if you haven't you will see a button here that reads install just like this so you have you're going to see a button that says install so when you install it when you click on the button to install you might need to restart your Visual Studio for the installation to get completed alright so if I click on installed you'll see Visual Studio there so as you can you will see github um, extension for Visual Studio which is this so I already have it installed now how to publish to Visual Studio so now I'm actually assuming that you successfully installed the github plugin now the next thing we need to do will be to go ahead and publish this project to github so to do that we're gonna go down to our visual studio we're gonna click on this menu that reads add to source control All right so when we click on add to source control we see the option for git so we're gonna click on git so this is the option that we are very interested in which is boot github so currently we don't have a github account connected to visual studio so what we need to do next is to go ahead and click on connect so at this time all you need to do is to provide the login details to your github account so if you don't have a github account yet how to do that is to go to github.com so when you go to github.com you will be able to create an account and when you create an account of course you have your username my username is you finish tutorials and of course the password so after creating an account you return to visual studio then you're gonna log in your account details then we're gonna go ahead and sign in okay so it seems that I made a mistake in my password so I'm gonna go ahead and click on sign in alright so I'm successfully signed in now the next thing we want to do is to go ahead and publish our project to github so we're gonna go ahead and click on this icon Alright, so when we click on this icon, we will see options to publish to a remote repository, which can actually um, be GitLab, Atlassian, or any other any other repository. So, but here we have an option to publish to GitHub. I also have an option to public to Azure DevOps. But this is our interest, so I'm going to go ahead and click on publish. So I want to publish to Ufinish Tutorials, and this would be the name of our project. And if we want to add some description, we can go ahead and add a description, say um, a project that describes that describes how to make use of GitHub from Visual Studio. So if you want this repository to be private, that means that you don't want any random person to have access to your code. You can go ahead and check this button, but for the sake of this tutorial, we want this repository to be open. We want it to be open so that anybody in the world can actually see our code. Mm -hmm, because we are very generous so we're gonna go ahead and click on publish all right so when you click on publish this will just go ahead and send your entire project directly to github so this is actually loading and repository has been created successfully so to confirm what we've done so we just need to return to our github account so i'm gonna go ahead and click on you finish tutorials right now we are supposed to see the new project we just published on our github account which is this github project a project that describes how to make use of github from visual studio as you can see 
this was updated just 19 seconds ago so if you click on the repository name which is github project so we can now go ahead and see all the project files which we actually had in our visual studio so you can see the assets you can see our main activity which is really empty and there is nothing inside actually so this is basically it making use of github um, directly from visual studio can really be very helpful and actually helps you to back up your code um, in an online repository so i think it's very very useful so if you're not actually making use of this before now i think is a good time to start so guys this is basically all about it in this tutorial so if you really really like this video and you've learned something from it just go ahead and hit the like button and so if you're new here and yet to subscribe go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also click the bell button so that you always get notified whenever i make this kind of video so this will be all for now catch you guys later